Yeah. So I feel like Leo's, there may be some hesitancy or doubt in making the releases that's required in order for you to up level and to allow the new cycle to fully start. I feel like these releases are related to the past. And I believe the, the beginning of the month reading, there was, I think this was the reading where there was a lot of looking back in the past and um, there was just a lot of challenges of returning back to the past, which didn't serve your highest good or the highest good of the individual that was um, impacted. Sorry, I'm just trying to create space down here. All right, so this is still a theme. This is uh, the energy that we're starting off with is, um, it looks like, like there's doubt, resistance, or hesitancy to make the release, okay? However, change is here for you. I think you know, excuse me, my eye is itching. I think you know that we're in a, we're in a state of change, you know? Um, and that in order to change, in order to accept the changes, you've, you've got to make those releases and you have to accept the changes that are happening. And it came in upright, so I feel like Leo's, there is progress being made on that front. I think you all are doing the work and um, coming into alignment with the cycles that have ended and with the relationships that have been that had to be released. And I think you're coming into alignment with the new cycles that's beginning with you. And that's exciting. And that's something that I really want you all to get excited about because, because May is all about just laying that foundation and dictating what you want your new life to look like and who you want in it and what opportunities are coming in for you. And it's about you. It's about you and only you. And you are in control of that. And you're in control of the changes and making those changes happen. Okay. So up next is resilience. Came in reversed. I feel like Leo's I feel like you guys are one of the most resilient uh, signs of the Zodiac. You guys are represented by the lion, a lot of strength, a lot of courage, but there is an inability or I don't want to say inability, but um, there's resistance here in flowing with the changes that are happening. You're not bouncing back as quickly as you normally would. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And I think that's the message is trying to come through. You're not bouncing back as quickly as you normally would. So I feel like what has ended for you and what you have released has you in a low vibrational state. It has you feeling depleted, tired, perhaps out of your energy source, your energy power. Yeah, uh, you're, you're rocked. Definitely. Okay. But let's, let's explore this further. Um, let's see if you can find any messages that are coming in for you to help turn upright your resilience energy and the release, the ability to, to make those releases. Okay. So I'm going to pull a five card spread. This is the Osho Zen tarot deck. And while I'm shuffling, um, wow. Three right off the bat. Two. While I'm shuffling, I just want to point out that we had a full moon in Scorpio coming up on the 18th. And uh, I feel like that will help you gain the introspection that you need to examine the remaining relationships in your lives. Scorpio is all about looking deep. It's all about tapping into your intuition. But it's looking for the depth of the relationships okay so anything that's shallow anything that's um just sort of like whatever anything that's sort of consuming your energy but it's like you know what i don't need to throw my energy over there i need to focus on what's really important that's sort of the in, the, the introspection you're going to be gaining um from you know the the full moon in scorpio oh boy okay so Leo, we're still, um, still dealing with releasing the past. This was a big one for the month of May, the beginning month of May. This is still a theme for you all in the middle of the month. It's reversed. So this is, um, yeah, this is past lives. You're still clinging to the past. You're still dealing with 
energy from the past. Um, it's reversed, so this is an internal issue here. It's nothing really external anymore because I feel like those cycles have ended. I feel like the releases have been made. I feel like what's happened has happened. But this is more about you personally, about how you're reacting to these endings. And it's reversed, so there's a, it suggests a struggle, an internal struggle. Um, yeah, because... Trying to see how I can read this. You have this this mind screw going on, okay? And this is the page. Is it a page? That is a page of clouds. Yeah, and it has you in a state of discombobulation. I almost feel like this may. I feel like some of these cards came up in your May reading, the beginning of the month reading. You have innocence. This is the. This is the 19 card. 19 reduces to 10, right? Yeah, 19, 1 plus 9 is 10. So it suggests a completion and a beginning because then 10 reduces to 1. So 10s are completions, 1s are beginnings. I think you're starting to release the past, and I think you're starting to understand what's going on here. Because innocence in this particular deck is about being present right here, right now. And it's just a, expressing gratitude and appreciation for everything that's literally in front of you. Here we have an image of a Zen master, just happy as can be in his presence, in the present. He has no concern in the world. He's not thinking about the past. He's not thinking about the future. He is unconcerned with all of that crap. Okay? Unconcerned. All he cares about is sitting under the cherry trees, the cherry blossoms, enjoying the company and entertainment of the cricket on his finger. And he is happy. The point of this card is to remind us to just be grounded in the here and now and just be thankful for all the gifts that are currently in our lives. Whatever those gifts are. It could be the people that are still in your lives after the big purge. It could be the career that you have, the money in your pocket, the food on your table, weather outside. You could be the Zen master with the cricket on your finger being like, life is great, right? Yeah. If you can embody this energy, this energy of total surrender, love, contentment. I think this is all about contentment. Being content with where you are and who you are right now in this moment. This will no longer be a thing. This will go away. It'll literally become part of your past. And this will clear up for you, Leo. Yeah. You will no longer have the anxiety, the mental stress, the mental burden, the mental blockages, the loop thinking, the codependent thinking, the attachment, the fear-based attachment to this past. This will take care of itself once you become content with who you are and where you are in your life. And... Be content with what has transpired in your life up to this point, okay? The past is the past. Let it go. Let it go with grace. Let it go with love and light and send it off with blessings. Whatever and whoever is involved in your past. Because you don't need this, Leo. You don't. Not at all. But coming up for you all... You're up-leveling yourselves. I think you're you're coming into this awareness because we have the um, traveling card. This is the Eight of Fire. It's the Eight of Eight of Wands in the regular Rider Weight deck. So this could suggest this is traveling. You may actually be going on a trip. I don't know if this is 
that's really the meaning, the true meaning of what this card is trying to convey. This particular deck is spiritual journey, spiritual traveling. This is where you are and this is where you want to go, right? And you're preparing yourself to make this journey. You're preparing yourself to travel in your ascension of life. Now is the time to walk away from this past, okay? This past will be down here at the base of this mountain, okay? And you're going up into an illuminated and elevated state. The air will be cleaner up there. The view will be more spectacular up there. And they always say it's not the destination, it's the journey. This journey is going to be challenging, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be uplifting. It's going to be inspiring because it's all about the people you're going to meet, the experiences you're going to have, you know, cool conversations about who you are, where you're going, what you're, what you're becoming. It's a spiritual enlightenment. Yeah, this is you, Leo. You are going into your source, your power. This is fire energy. This is all about you getting into alignment with who you are and embracing your inner lion, your inner courage, and allowing that fire energy to really come out and illuminate the way and motivate other people to want to be around you. You know? Because you don't need this. You don't. It's, it's, it's harming you. It's doing more harm than good. But once you can clear this and once you become content, you're going to be ready to start this journey. Okay? Because crowning the deck is the maturity card. This is the Ace of Rainbows. So Ace of Pentacles in the regular Rider weight. This came in reversed. When this card appears in this deck or in a reading, usually it's a head nod from the universe saying, we get it. We, we see you. We see the work that you've done. We see how hard you worked on your core wounding, how much work you did on your shadows, your shadow work. And now we're blessing you with abundance, full total abundance. And abundance is coming in for you. Well, this is an ace card. It's reversed. Because you're here and because you're still in this energy of clinging to the past or doubting the release of the past or being attached to the past, you're blocking abundance from coming in. This ace is reversed. It's either going to be delayed or it's just not coming in and you're messing up the ability to, to up-level and to bring in what you're what you want to bring in love wealth health spiritual enlightenment friendships career opportunities fun you know so that's just something to think about bottom of this deck huh intensity this is the night of fire reversed the night of fire is like nope not coming in right now this is inspiration, this is passion, this is motivation, this is fast moving energy, but it's reversed so it's slowing down. You're slowing it down because you're not ready. You're not ready to receive this energy of passion, inspiration, and motivation. This is creativity. This is you, Leo. You're out of alignment. This usually nights bring movement. They bring messages. You're not ready to receive this message yet until you can clear this, okay? Um, yeah, and because the night is slowing down, the ace, the ace of rainbows is reversed. So delays, okay? But all is not lost. We're gonna check in with the untamed oracle deck and we're gonna see um, what comes in for you all. So I haven't used these cards in a while. Unknown. Yep, you're entering a period of unknown, of darkness, passion, upright, fulfillment, reversed. But as, as, a, as I was saying, haven't used these cards in a while. Oh my God, you've got like 15 that just came out. Let's redo this. And I'm feeling called this time around to use these 
um, I've been using, I've used these in the past and I stopped and I felt compelled to use the Rider Weight Tarot deck. This time around, I'm feeling compelled and called to use the Untamed Truth oracles. They have a cool way of conveying messages or lining up the message that's coming through. Imagery is really cool as well. Mm, becoming. I like that for you guys. Yes, that I really like. and I'm glad that's coming out. One more. One more for Leo. Okay, patience. Reversed. And bottom of the deck, spirit, upright. I like that because that is um, all about your spirit guides, being in touch with your spirit guides. You have an owl who is all-knowing and all-seeing. You have a forest full of eyes that are seeing you, and these are the eyes of God. These are the eyes of your spirit guides, the eyes of your guardian angels watching over you. So I'm glad that it came in upright for you all, Leo, because I think you really do need this energy right now in your lives to help you move forward with the new changes because right now you're venturing into an area of unknown. And I think that's the reason why you are stuck here in this mind screw and still attached to the past. Because I think it's familiar to you all. And I think you're resistant to the change because it feels different. It feels feels new. It feel, may feel wrong. I don't know why the word wrong popped into my head, but it, it repeated itself three times. It may feel wrong to some of you, but trust it. What I like about this card is that it talks about going into the dark void of almost nothingness. I sort of feel like this is part of the journey that's coming in for you. The traveling card, the up-leveling. This is cyclical. If you look closely, it has sort of like a cyclical energy associated with it. So it's a spiral. This suggests that there is a, a momentum of forward movement. Like you're going into this tunnel, into this cycle, and it's spinning because we are starting a new cycle. And that cycle has already begun. And the will of change has already started its rotation. And with that will of change... You're, you're not dealing with it very well. But out of darkness comes light. Out of chaos breeds order. Okay? So just take that. Take that from this reading. Out of darkness breeds light. Out of chaos breeds order. Your life is coming into order. It's a new type of order. Okay? But don't resist. Um... Your resistance tells the universe you're not ready for it. Hence, you're delaying your, your pentacle uh, from coming in the ace, of, the ace of rainbows. To help you navigate this period of unknown or this energy of chaos, it's best and recommended to tap into your passions. What I like about this card is the yellow here, and I feel like this will resonate with you all, Leos, because the yellow is all about the solar plexus chakra. This is upright. So I feel like, okay, your chakra isn't blocked, but if you can tap into the energy, this is where inspired action comes from. It's from the solar plexus. Your intuition is housed there, your courage, your inspiration, your creativity. That's all solar plexus and it's yellow. It's symbolized by the color of yellow. And I love that this passion is coming in because, you know, it's, it's the hummingbird and the hummingbird is all about messages of good luck and hummingbird is also a healer so it has healing properties associated with it and i love the colors of the blues the greens a little bit of the purples so i feel like this is all about aligning the remaining of your chakras your heart chakra your throat chakra your third eye chakra and your crown chakra right i mean it's all represented in this card of passion so i think if you get yourself into alignment you'll start to feel better about the will of change, you start to feel better about being in this unknown period, this darkness. Um, you'll start to see the light, you'll start to see the way, and you'll start to have clear vision of where you're going. And this night will no longer be delayed, this night of fire will, will not be delayed once you come into alignment. You have the fulfillment card up next, and 
fulfillment is it's reversed. Fulfillment is all about completions. And because it's reversed, you're hesitant to allow a cycle to complete. Okay? And again, that's central to your reading. You're hesitant to allow the past to be in the past, to let go. This fulfillment cannot come upright until all of that is handled. Okay? But it will be. Because you are you're now stepping into your power. You are becoming who you need to become. And I think you're understanding. I think you're understanding what that vision looks like for you. And you're, it's going to become more clear as you embark on this journey, this journey, this journey of ascension. That you are becoming a new, newer, stronger, more improved, more empowered version of yourself, Leo. You just have to trust it and be open to it. And I love the color scheme here, so I feel like it is depicting your energy perfectly. The fire energy, the reds, the yellows, you know, the pinks. It's all beautiful energy for you all, and it should be resonating with you. But just have patience. This came up reverse, and I feel like because I think you know what you need to do. I think you know what needs to happen in order to make the past truly your past and to get out of that mind screw that you're in. I think you know what you need to do. You're just being impatient with yourself because maybe it's not happening as you would like, or maybe you're not aligning yourself as you should be. Maybe the changes aren't happening as quickly as you want them to happen, but just, just trust in the timing of everything. Yeah, slow down. Slow down and don't force it. Just be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself and allow these timelines to close. Allow these cycles to end and get yourself into alignment because you have a beautiful future ahead of you. You just have to be willing to accept it and to be open and to open that heart chakra so you can open and surrender to what's coming in for you, okay?